almost there. It says that I'm live. It's showing live on my end. Now it says it's live on my end too. Away we go. Good morning, everyone. This is Connie Hayworth. I'm the executive director here at St. Anthony Senior, Senior Living. And I'm in one of our beautiful model apartments this morning. And I'm going to be visiting with Carrie Morganson from Empower Me. Carrie, thank you so much for joining us and welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me on this morning. Yeah, tell us about Empower Me Wellness. Empower Me Wellness is uh, an outpatient therapy provider service. We provide all the therapy services here at St. Anthony Senior Living. Um, we also provide wellness services, um, including classes, massage. Um, we do do one-on-one -on -one communication exercises and, and teach use of technology as well for, for those of our residents that use iPhones, iPads, um, and any type of communication device. So Empower Me has um, about six therapists that are on site daily um, to do one-on-one -on -one services or um, to host the complimentary classes for the residents here at St. Anthony's. What kind of complimentary classes do you do? So we teach uh, balance class, Tai Chi class, yoga, and then for the memory care residents, we do teach a cognitive communication class that typically includes an integrative uh, craft activity. Nice, nice. Tai Chi and yoga, that sounds great. And massage, I heard you, I heard you say that too. Yes, and our uh, therapists are certified um, through Silver Sneakers. So that is a wonderful program. Um, and we that do is a great program. Choreography for the yoga and Tai Chi as well. Now, how long have you been an occupational therapist, Carrie? So I graduated from OT school in 2009. So this is year 11 um, and I love it. I, I definitely the right career for me, for sure. Have you, have you always worked with seniors? I haven't, no, I actually started out um, with pediatrics in the school setting and uh, transitioned over to acute care in uh, the hospital setting. Um, and about year three found my way into senior living and fell in love and I'm still here. It has a way of getting into our hearts, doesn't it? It sure does, definitely, definitely. So what is occupational therapy? Describe it for us. So occupational therapy um, really focuses on the resident's daily activities. So those things that we do every day that we don't think about um, getting up, getting out of bed, getting dressed, um, you know, getting into the shower safely, uh, making your breakfast in the morning, uh, getting in and out of your car, carrying groceries, packages, um, kind of those tasks that we, we just do without thinking. Um, and sometimes, you know, as we're getting older or for seniors, um, if you have a condition that limits your, you to do those things either by yourself or safely, occupational therapy comes in and kind of assesses what's going on and can make recommendations for either additional equipment um, or can work on some of those skills to make the resident more independent with some of those basic tasks. So our goal really is to keep folks um, independent and you know, make sure that they can do all of those things safely day to day. And I, I love that because our goal here at Senior Anthony's is to keep people as independent as long as possible. So we really fit together and have the, the same vision on that. Now, what kind of, you, said, you mentioned conditions, what kind of conditions might, um, might warrant someone needing occupational therapy? So occupational therapy uh, really looks at the whole person. Um, occupational therapy can address um, some cognitive um, conditions. So if you know you've had a stroke or um, you know are, are suffering with some mild memory loss, we can work with different uh, techniques and um, interventions to compensate for some of those things. Um, we also do you know orthopedic uh, type conditions, so shoulder, hand injuries. Um, postural rehabilitation. So we focus on, um, you know, neck musculature and core musculature, um, which is where some of that massage can come into place, loosening up some of those 
um, chronically tight muscles. And uh, we do teach a lot of safety um, for folks that maybe are suffering, you know, from Parkinson's um, or, you know, a neurological condition like that. We also work with just your basic arthritis um, and getting older. Um, a lot of times, you know, people have difficulty just because of weakness or decreased flexibility um, with reaching or turning. So, um, you know, we really can address some basic uh, skills and, um, you know, medical needs uh, as well as more complex needs for folks that have um, a lot of different things going on. So you mentioned, you know, the things we do every day. So right behind me here is one of our kitchens here in independent living. So I bet that would be a place that you might spend a lot of time with someone who maybe lives in independent living or in their own home, uh, you know, going through what, what, how does that work? Do you watch what they do, how they're doing it and, and then help them to learn some, some ways that might be safer or easier for them? Yeah, and, the, and actually that's one of the, the wonderful things about St. Anthony's Independent Living is that you all do offer full kitchens um, so that if, if folks want to prepare their own meals, um, they have the option of the restaurant or, you know, staying up um, in the apartment. So uh, essentially we talk with the resident and get a profile about what type of meals that they typically are preparing, uh, what's important for them to prepare for themselves. Is it something as simple as a snack or do they like to host small dinner parties in their apartment? Um, and would they like to do, you know, more baking, that type of thing. So once we kind of know um, what appliances they need to utilize, um, what types of pans or dishes that they need to access, um, we can kind of go from there. Sometimes it's as simple as um, organizing commonly used things at a, a lower cabinet height or on the countertop. Um, and sometimes we actually can adapt the appliances to make them easier to turn on or turn off or set alarms um, to help, you know, the resident re remind them where they are in, in the sequencing, depending on, you know, how complex the meal is. Um, you know, we do have folks that have um, cooked or baked their whole lives and some that, you know, are just getting into it or maybe a spouse had done it previously and, and now they're preparing it themselves. So we really want to individualize it, um, you know, make it safe and make sure that the resident can, uh, you know, do what they need to do um, in the kitchen. Yeah, well, you know, you've done it all your life and you want to be able to keep those skills and sometimes just a few adaptations can can help you do that. You know, I am um, one time a, a therapist gave me the hint of uh, residents who have arthritis, you know, it can really when you're pushing the remote for the television, it can be a little, you know, it can hurt and just putting a, um, a cotton ball on top of the most commonly used buttons like the on button can make it where they don't have to press down as hard Things yeah like that makes total sense but I, I never would have thought of that myself <laughs> well and a lot of things you know are easy can be easy fixes and just having a therapist um, involved in something that you're doing especially if it's something you're doing every day especially with arthritis those repetitive tasks really do take a toll um, on your joints and your inflammation and your pain level and um, so if we can make those things a little bit easier, hopefully, uh, you know, the resident will be able to, to live a pain, more pain-free lifestyle and still maintain their independence. Well, and as we say here, continue to find the joy in aging. Exactly. So if someone feels like they might benefit from occupational therapy, how do they get started? So we typically do what we call a courtesy visit if they're here on site. Uh, we'll stop in and, and visit with the resident about, um, you know, whatever they feel that they're struggling with, or even if they just want some more information, a lot of people aren't sure if they need therapy services or not. Um, if we determine that there is um, a, an area that they could work on and benefit from, um, we do do preventative services too. So, so really looking at how we can modify things or make things easier before um, they're having a major issue. Um, once we've identified that, we typically reach out to the physician. All of our services are provided under a physician's order, uh, just to make sure that if there's any questions, you know, with the diagnosis that's going on or any change in condition, um, you know, while we're seeing the resident, we can communicate that to their physician. Um, and then the resident uh, signs a consent form and we send in their insurance. So all of our one-on-one -on -one services are covered by most of the primary commercial and Medicare insurance plans. 
um, which is wonderful benefit for the residents. Um, and then we also offer wellness services. And, and those are, you know, maybe there's really not something medical going on, but they want some one-on-one -on -one coaching or want to learn how to use the beautiful fitness center um, and the independent living. You know, we will do, um, those are kind of a la carte sessions, if you will. They're $30 for 30 minutes, uh, but we can really make sure the residents feel safe with operating the equipment um, and, and make sure that they have a coach there, you know, if they want someone to progress. So uh, we do have obviously the one-on-one -on -one services that are under the physician's order and um, run through the insurance. And then we do have the wellness services um, that are really more like a, a personal training or a coaching type service. Fantastic. Well, uh, thank you so much for sharing with us this morning, Carrie. Is there anything that I forgot to ask about when it comes to occupational therapy? Um, I don't think so. You know, uh, one of the other things I would mention is we do coordinate equipment. So um, if there are modifications needed or um, additional uh, equipment to assist with mobility or positioning, um, our OTs will directly work with the insurance companies to make sure that the residents have what they need. Um, and we, you know, really do all the measuring and identify si sizing and that type of thing as well. So um, our clinicians are experts in that. You are experts because sometimes we call on you and ask you where the best place would be for a grab bar. <laughs> exactly. That's probably the most common question, but we do right. um, you know, have a lot of other, other small things um, that we can get ordered and coordinated very quickly um, so that folks can get back to their daily lives. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much, Carrie, for being with us. I've really enjoyed our discussion and uh, I just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. It's coming up. I hope you're getting your shopping done and it looks like tomorrow it's going to be snowing. So uh, be careful out there and uh, have a wonderful and joyous day, everyone. Wonderful. Thanks. Thank you.